what's going on guys welcome back in this video we're going to be going over gta 5's weekly update for may 13th so if you guys are trying to figure out what the best money making methods and the sales are for this week this video will help you guys go ahead and do so but first things first we got to take care of this week's podium vehicle which is the the classy drift yo smite um this vehicle is kind of cool it's a truck i'm not a big truck guy it has a cool little hood thing and i don't know much about it but looks pretty cool if you guys want to have an opportunity to go ahead and spin the wheel to win this vehicle, go ahead. I unfortunately this week I spun the vehicle for the first time and I did not get the truck. I ended up getting 10,000 chips. So hopefully I'll get this truck by the end of the week and I hope you guys do too. So with that being said, let's get into our sales of the week. So if we head on over to Warstock Cash and Carry, we have the Heavy Menacer for 40% off. So if you guys were looking to pick something like this up, kind of similar to the Night Shark or Insurgent, kind of like a crossbreed there, we have that for 40% off. And then if you guys go ahead and go down, you'll see the anti-aircraft trailer, which is kind of a favorite for people that play Motor Wars. Um, it's not that useful. It just kind of looks cool and it can attach to multiple vehicles. So that's kind of nice if you have like an insurgent and you want to carry that third person on a turret, you guys can go ahead and do so. So that's kind of nice. Add on for 40%. And then we have the Phantom Wedge. So I think this might be the best sale of the week in my opinion. The Phantom Wedge has been proven to be essential to running my businesses specifically running the KO Perico heist I use the boat long fin boat which is on a trailer and I can use the phantom wedge to go ahead and pick that up so if you don't have the phantom wedge and you already have like a Costca and a sparrow and you want something to make your heist preps easier the phantom wedge is something I'd pick up plus it's a really fun fun vehicle so if you guys don't have that already highly recommend you guys go ahead and pick that up and then next we have the technical aqua honestly this vehicle is okay the turret on it's subpar in my opinion but it does float in water so if you're looking for a truck that floats in water it's actually pretty useful um, a lot of people love this vehicle I haven't had too much experience with it to enjoy it that much but again something to consider while it's on sale for 40% off and then we have the benefactor turreted limo now I've had this vehicle for a while right now it's 40% off again but it's kind of useless overall unless you're registered as a CEO. Now, if you're a CEO, you can request this vehicle insta spawn just like the buzzard in the interaction menu. And you guys can have a lot of fun with this with your CEO members. You guys can get like five stars and blow up a whole bunch of helicopters and stuff like that. So I have had quite a bit of fun with this, especially if you don't have a lot of money laying around for like less than a million dollars. An armored turreted vehicle isn't too uh, too bad. Next, we have the Vapid Cara Cara. It is 30% off. It's a big hardy truck with a good turret on the back. Overall, it's not too bad of a vehicle. Might want to pick it up, especially with this week's two times money event, which we'll take a look at here in a bit. And then lastly on Warstock, we have the Dune Buggy with the turret on there for 30% off. This vehicle has been in the game for a long time. Wouldn't stress about this unless you guys are looking to pick this up or add it to your collection. It's not too bad of a sale. So last but not least for our vehicle sales, if we head on over to Southern San Andreas Superautos.com, we have the Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire. A lot of people like this vehicle. I guess a lot of people in muscle cars or whatever, those type of vehicles like this vehicle. It must be like a staple or something. I see people driving in these all the time and it is quite pricey when it's not on sale. So for 30% off, I highly recommend you pick this up to add to your collection. I believe I will by the end of the week. So those are the vehicle sales of this week. Now we can take a look at the building slash business sales that we have this week. So for the first building sale we have this week is the offices. All CEO offices are 50% off. So if you guys are looking to pick that up, the CEO office is essential in my opinion to being su successful in GTA 5. Honestly, it gives you access to a whole bunch of things that you don't know about if you don't have one. So please go ahead and pick one up. And also, if, of course, if you're looking to upgrade, you can get the Maze Bank location for 50% off, which is one heck of a discount when you're looking at the overall price. And then if you're looking for something, a budget option or your first CEO office, Maze Bank West is 50% off as well for $500,000. And then as well with that, we have the 50% off all CEO office renovations. So you can make it look nice. You can add a gun locker. You can change your assistant. You can change the style and get 50% off all of those as well. So if you guys were looking to do any of those things, 50% off might want to make that move. 
And last and certainly least, we have 50% off Mark II Special Ammo. So if you were trying to get explosive rounds for your pump shotgun or uh, incendiary rounds for your sniper or something like that, they are 50% off. So you guys can save a little bit of change there if you haven't already stocked up your Mark II Specialty Ammo. So that concludes our regular sales for the week. Next, we'll take a look at the Prime Gaming sales. So Prime Gaming is a service that you get through Amazon. If you'd like to sign up for a 30-day free trial, I'll leave a link in the description box. It's 30 days for free. You can cancel beforehand and not have to pay anything, so I'll leave a link to that. And you guys can get these exclusive sales plus some extra GTA money over the 30 days. So the Jugular is on sale for 80% off. The Stafford's on sale for 80% off as well. And then the Dinka Vito Cut Modern is on sale for 35% off. Honestly. For 35% off, the Modern's okay. I wouldn't recommend jumping for that unless you don't have it and you really wanted it. The customization on it, I was a little bit disappointed to be completely honest with you guys. But for, you know, 80% off a lot of these vehicles and plus the free money you're going to be getting, you're pretty much getting these vehicles for free by the end of the month. So again, if you're looking to sign up for Prime Gaming, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Uh, so that brings us to this week's money making methods. So the first money making method we're going to take a look at is target assault. Target assault is something that a lot of players like to play. It's three times money this week and pretty much you're going to be driving that car or car vehicle and you're going to be shooting targets. So you have a driver and then you have a shooter. The driver is trying to stay in first place but also pace himself so your shooter can shoot properly. And then if you're in first place you'll get like three points per checkpoint. Second place gets like two points per checkpoint and then everybody else gets one point per checkpoint. I made that scoring system up but the further ahead you are the more points you get per checkpoint. That's the idea. And then the person on the back is just trying to shoot as many targets in the center as possible so they can get the most points. So then you guys switch every lap. The shooter will become the driver or the driver will become the shooter. And you guys just compete to get the highest score and finish the race. The key thing here is do not get a DNF. A lot of players I see get a DNF because they're slowing down for their shooter to get some extra points at the end and then they don't give themselves enough time to finish. Do not do this. This will definitely cause you a lot of grief if you guys don't get to finish because you'll lose a big chunk of your payout. As well as a special little tip is a lot of players don't know you can hold LT or I guess it would be L1 for some of you PlayStation players to zoom in while you're shooting. So a lot of players didn't know this when you're in the vehicle you can actually kind of zoom in or focus your shooting a little bit so you have a little bit more aim in certain situations. This is super beneficial. So I ended up making $14,000. It took us 4 minutes and 36 seconds to complete this. I came second so $14,000 for coming second is okay. 4 minutes and 36 seconds is too long for this amount of payout if you're looking for like a really good money making method. But a lot of people just enjoy playing this so that's not too bad. If I had it came in first it would have paid me out $20,000. So kind of a mediocre payout, even at three times money. But I will say the RP on this is actually very nice. For four minutes, um, I ended up bringing in almost 8,000 RP. And then the first place team brought in just over 11,000 RP. So the RP payout for this is definitely worth your time. So that one wasn't that great of a money making method, but RP grinding definitely something to consider. So that will take us into our next money making method, which is Motor Wars again for three times money. I believe this is the third week in a row we have had Motor Wars as our money making method. I love Motor Wars. It's like a battle royale type mode. Um, I played two rounds with my brother this morning and we ended up bringing in around $71,000 winning both rounds. Um, I don't want to go into this too much because if you watched my last week's video, I already went into Motor Wars. But again, it's kind of like a Battle Royale War Zone Apex type feel. You have a zone that closes in on you. There's weapons and stuff you can grab and vehicles you can grab to compete to be the last team standing. Kind of straightforward. Very fun if you get a group of players. Just highly recommend you guys go ahead and take advantage of this money making method because one, it's super fun and it pays out pretty well. 71,000 or in around there for two rounds, which don't take much time depending on the team you're competing against, is definitely worth your time. You can put it up to like three or four rounds and bring in over $100,000 for just playing some uh, battle royale type mode gameplay. And one of the last money making methods we have this week is special vehicle work. I ended up completing this ramp buggy one where you have to evacuate a group of bank robbers essentially 
to their location. You can start these by going to your CEO office and then going on your computer in there and then going to special vehicle work. They are all two times money. So you guys can go ahead and take advantage of these if you're trying to get the discounts. I wouldn't recommend grinding these as a money making method per se. Uh, I don't think the payouts are high enough to make it worth your time, especially because some of the missions are actually very difficult. Getting paid 27,000 isn't too bad, but again, it, it's quite a difficult task to complete some of these missions and they take quite a bit of time. Anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes, sometimes you can do them quicker. But again, 27,000 is a decent payout if you're gonna be able to repeat them over and over again. But I'm not a huge fan because of the difficulty of these for beginning players. I highly do not recommend these if you're just starting out in the game. A small money making mention is that there are two times money on business battles. So if you guys enjoy doing business business battles and kind of ramping up that nightclub to get some extra income they are two times money so if you see a business battle inside of your free mode lobby you might want to consider participating in that to get yourself a little bit of extra income so that brings us to our next money making method and which is the Elboro Heights time trial you have to beat this time trial in under two minutes and 10 seconds to get the full money reward of one hundred thousand dollars this can only be completed once and will reset by the end of the week so do try to complete this time trial. This time trial is actually pretty easy, especially if you follow my path. Um, I highly recommend you start the time trial, then set a waypoint to the destination, and then hold Y or triangle so you will eventually respawn at the time trial and you can restart with a proper waypoint so you have an idea of where you should be going. Overall, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go ahead and travel as fast as possible wheelie as much as possible and follow the path i'm taking uh, i do run into some little bumps and stuff like that but don't follow the waypoint exactly there's a turn coming up ahead here that will be more efficient if you don't follow the waypoint something to keep in mind especially when you're going past the casino is there's a lot of bumps in the road like a lot of little hills almost and you will catch air time so if there's a vehicle in front of you you will <laughs> crash so Keep that in mind. And then you wanna turn here at the bank where the Hollywood stars end and then make your way up the hill. Very, very simple. Overall, when you're going up the hill, just be careful of oncoming traffic. If you stay on your side of the road, you should be fine because you'll have enough time to react and you should try to wheelie as much as possible when going up or press forward as much as possible when going up the hill. It is difficult um, to maintain speed when going up the hill. So just keep that in mind when you are doing the time trial that you want to maintain a high speed. If you have the Batty 801, which you can get from the Southern Super San Andreas.com website for like $15,000, which is very cheap for a vehicle of the speed you can probably beat this time trial I'm gonna say definitely beat this time trial with the stock bike so for 15k you can go ahead and beat this time trial as well as if you get the upgrades you're gonna have a really 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 easy time beating this time trial because this time trial I almost beat with 20 seconds on average when trying to complete it so if you like the video please don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and as always thanks for watching